Cameron again, and welcome back to Library Macabre, where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And today I am here to review Pivot by L.C. Barlow. Pivot by L.C. Barlow is the first book in the Jack Harper trilogy. It follows a girl by the name of Jack Harper. She is 17 years old, though the story kind of jumps between her being older and uh, taking place in the past when she is a young child. And Jack Harper is being raised in what is essentially a cult. Now, cult stories usually aren't my thing, uh, especially these days when we are getting a lot of stories about cults, a lot of horror films about cults, books, but I have found that the cult angle is usually used as a twist at the end of books and movies. Like, oh, all of this crazy stuff is happening because a cult was at the center of it the whole time, you just didn't know. We did know because it's not the most original twist. But when I go into a book or a movie knowing full well that this is about a cult and they're not trying to hide it from you, they're not going to try to use it as a twist, it's actually there, that's what it's about, I'm more likely to enjoy it because I don't feel like somebody is trying to hide something from me that's obvious from the beginning. And that's what I like about Pivot by L.C. Barlow is that this book does not hide the fact that yes this is about a cult but then it takes that and it subverts it and it uses it in a very very interesting way you go into this book thinking you're going to get a story just about a cult and at the end of the day that's not what you get what you get is a story about the main character jack being manipulated and raised to be a monster and succumbing to that but at the end of the day, fighting against it. It isn't a wide story about a cult overall. It's actually a very contained story about Jack and this little world that has been built for her by Cyrus, the man who runs this cult. He has brainwashed her to be this tool that he uses. She is basically his assassin. He has raised her from the time that she was a very young child, thinking that if she does kill somebody that they can be brought back to life that he has the power to bring people back to life therefore when she kills people for him it's not official they're not dead but is this true or is this just something that he has made her believe so that she will do it for him pivot is the darkest most disturbing book that i have read in a long time and i wasn't expecting that um, reading the synopsis, I kind of felt like this was going to be more of a YA kind of thing, since it does follow a teenage character. Make no mistake, this is not, this is not a YA book. And in this case, I'm actually going to give a few trigger warnings, because, uh, this book is full of abuse to children, um, child murder, uh, there is abuse to animals, um, murder of animals. If you're a dog person, like I am, there are a couple of scenes in this book that will definitely make you uncomfortable. And they're supposed to, but they're there, and if you don't want to read that, you might not want to read this book. There is also a lot of heavy drug use in this book, primarily heroin. Uh, our main character, Jack, is actually addicted to heroin, something that Cyrus, the leader of the cult, introduced to her, and that's really just a way to keep her numb and addicted and reliant on him to keep her contained. And that's a really disturbing aspect, because not only do you have the addiction side of it, but you also have the manipulation that goes with it, and it, it's upsetting. Uh, there were times where I was listening to this, and I'm almost in tears. <laughs> because it was so sad um, and just hard to read, but really powerful at the same time because that's something that 
is part of Jack as a character and something that she tries to overcome. There is a scene actually toward the end of the book where she meets this random woman one night and this woman just starts talking to her and they get into the discussion of uh, Jack's addiction and it just is. See, I'm already getting emotional just talking about it because it is a really beautiful scene and I think it's important to have that in books and I think drug use is something that's often joked about in books. It's not something that's taken seriously, especially in movies, but to see it presented the way it is and so raw and real and taken seriously, I think is awesome. So I, I definitely applaud Elsie Barlow for going in that direction with it, even though it's dark and uncomfortable. And I will also say that Cyrus, the leader of this cult, I'm not going to say what this cult is all about because that's part of the twist of the book and I think you need to just experience that on your own because that alone is really cool. Uh, but Cyrus is the best villain that I have read in a long time and by best I mean worst. He is awful, awful, awful human being. And Elsie Barlow also really digs into the psychology and the reasons behind why Cyrus is what he is and his reasons behind everything and the reasons alone are scary enough. Fantastic book. Fantastic. I really loved everything about it. I mean, no, it's not a comfortable reading experience. There are a lot of aspects about this book that may be very uncomfortable, but it is all part of Jack's journey to finding herself and finding redemption. Therefore, the book also does have a lot of heart. I also listened to the audiobook of this, which is narrated by Emma Galvin, who was amazing. Emma Galvin's narration is vulnerable and mean and sharp and painful. There's just all of these emotions going on at once to the point where I felt like I was listening to Jack tell me the story. She really embodies the character. It was fantastic. So I would recommend listening to the audiobook or just reading the book. I don't think you can go wrong either way. Of course, I'm going to leave links down below in the graveyard where you can listen to or read the book for yourself. Highly recommended. Thank you so much to Elsie Barlow for sending me along a copy of this book to listen to. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Have a spooky day, and I will see you in the next one. Later, creeps.